Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Naval Ops Commander. Last actual, last full episode, we did like a mission, and, and we designed Battleship 3 and stuff. And then last, like, video was like 48 and a half, uh, and that was pretty much just grinding for the chain guns. And as a result of grinding, we have a ridiculous amount of money. So, air tech? Oh, well, let's do these one at a time, so we see what we get. Okay, nothing there. Uh, let's go engines. Oh, wait, I think it was new destroyer turbine. I clicked it a little too fast. Uh, let's go air tech again. 81 Sky Raider. Cool, we have a jet plane, finally. Uh, I think so, anyways. I'm not sure. It looks like one. Okay, nothing new from engines that time. How about weapons? Ooh, cool. I think we have, we're using slightly bigger guns than that, but... Uh, it's kind of neat that we have higher caliber ones now. Let's go with some electronics, sonar 4, atomic engine 1. Ah. I've heard mixed things about these so far. Um, and even in Warship Gunner 2, it takes a long time before you really get to the good atomic engines. Let's go one more level of metallurgy. We got heavy battleship B and anti-air battleship. Huh. That might have been useful in all that grinding. Not that we really needed the extra help, but uh, yeah. Battleship Forward Type 3. Ooh. Ah. Shiny. Looks pretty cool. Battleship 4. Well, Battleship 3's life was short lived, but uh, oh well. And Heavy Battleship C. Okay. Let's go ahead and do all the other things one, t uh, one more time here. FH1 Phantom. Pretty sure that one's a jet fighter. Again, it, it looks like one, so, I mean, I don't know if it's actually a fighter or an interceptor or whatever, but, um, boilers, new battleship boilers, new carrier boilers, oh boy, am I going to be able to remember all this stuff that I'm getting here? Higher caliber, 15 inch guns, whoop de doo and bigger guided torpedoes, that's kind of nice. And 88mm multi-chain gun, there's that. We are past those already for sure. Uh, let's see, electronics, gravitational field 1. I'm assuming that's like the gravity shield from Warship Gunner 2. Reduces uh, incoming shell damage, which could be useful. Atomic engine 2, okay. Um, we still have so much money. This is crazy. Uh, metallurgy, again, because why not? Battleship Forward Type 4. Cool. I knew this was going to happen with all the money we were going to get. I knew it was going to happen. Battleship Aft Type 3. Battle Carrier 2. Oh my goodness. The next like couple episodes are just going to be designing stuff over and over and over. Carrier 5. Ah. I don't know if that's necessarily a Nimitz class hull. It looks a little narrow for that, but it could be. We'll have to. We'll be able to see it a little bit better once we actually get around to designing that. Uh, heavy battleship D. Boy, oh boy! I knew this was going to happen with all this money. But according to Gungaga, we're going to want all of this stuff later. Hey, a Corsair! That's not a jet plane. I know what a Corsair is. I, I do know what a Corsair is, and I know that's not a jet plane. Um, in fact, if you saw the last episode of Battle Stations uh, Pacific, we got a little screwed over in terms of uh, Corsairs defending Guadalcanal, which makes no sense. Cruiser Boiler 8, Turbine 7. Oh my goodness. This is craziness right now. Ah, uh, let's go weapons again. Ah, 18 inch guns. Ah, oh, 18 inch guns. So cool. So cool. Hey, AGS guns. Wow. That's uh, a lot sooner than you get them in Horseshoe Gunner 2. And rapid fire 76mm cannon. Okay, sure. New armament. Okay, so when we got that new anti air armament, I believe it was Belly848 who said that it changes the way our shell, well, slightly changes the way our shells do damage to aircraft either it just it just makes them do more damage or it increases their blast radius or something along those lines but basically just makes every shell we fire as an anti-air shell like from cannons or something uh, more effective 
Uh, so I'm assuming this is something similar to that. It's not actually a system, it's just a passive bonus that you get. Um, I'm assuming this is something similar to that, but for like regular damaging, uh, damaging, what's, think brain, ships and, and stuff with regular cannon fire. My brain is, oh boy, it's, it's the weekend, I'm just ready for the weekend at this point. And the last thing we'll do is electronics, because I want to save money to be able to buy all of this new stuff that we just got. So we have EM Shield 3, ETS 4, and Radar Sonar System 3, Optical Intensifier 1, okay, cool. So, uh, Atomic Engine 3 already, Gas Turbine 1, so now we can start actually researching gas turbines, though we have such high level boilers and regular turbines, I don't know if that will be really worth it. Um... Let's see, let's see, let me check something on my laptop here, because I can't remember if this is the first video in this in this uh, little segment here, or what. Um, 2144, uh, let's see, I believe, yeah, this is, I don't think I've had to make a cut yet. Okay, so... Well, let's, uh, let's see what we can get done here. Um, so what do we have? We don't have... Okay, we have a new battleship hull, a new battle carrier hull, and a new aircraft carrier hull. So we need to scrap all three of those. And then buy the new ones. Yes. So we need to scrap the old battle carrier and wait for it and scrap this battleship now which we didn't get to use a whole lot but such is the progression of this game when you get three point something million funds all at once uh... and the carrier so that we can design the new carrier And okay, now that all that's done, let's go to the depot and buy the new hulls. And probably sell the old ones too. <coughs> okay, uh, we can sell Battleship 3, we're done with it because we have Battleship 4. Battle Carrier 1 we can sell because we have Battle Carrier 2. Cruisers uh, 9 is the one we're using, right? 9 is the one that's the Ticonderoga class. Right, that's, yeah, that's the one we're using, so we must just have an extra one from a mission or something, so we'll sell that. Uh, old carrier hull sell, because we have the new one right here, and there we go. Um, as far as other weapons and engines and all that good stuff, we'll just look at it once we actually get into designing the ships. Uh, but let's, I'm curious to start with the battle carrier, so I'll put it in the same slot that it was before so I don't confuse myself. Why do we have a Battleship 2 hull sitting around? I didn't see that in there. Battle Carrier 2, though. Did they spell Battle Carrier right this time? I forgot to check. I, d I doubt it, but we'll we'll be able to see in here once we get into the dock. And yes, Battle Carrier 2 is... Uh, well, first of all, it's misspelled. But yes, Battle Carrier 2, or at least US Battle Carrier 2, is the best Battle Carrier in the game because the flight deck is in the middle and you have room on the main deck for guns on the aft end of the ship as well as the fore end of the ship. So, we have a battle carrier that can fire backwards, guys. Isn't it great? It's so good, I'm so excited. So, because we have the technology, I'm curious. I'm curious, we will probably change this out at some point. Though I'm curious to at least try it. The chain guns have intrigued me now. Uh, and we might even have to widen those out so we can get more boilers and stuff on here. Um, I don't think we got any new carrier bridges, to be honest. But we can go check. Uh, let's see. Carrier, uh, forward type 6. I guess we did get this, and I just forgot about it. Uh, type 1 has... Since when does that have 63 control? I thought I had like 50-something. 
What? I'm confused now. Um, I don't know how that happened. Uh, okay, well, 63 control with what other kinds of stats do we got? 14 and 2 versus 63 control with 13 and 4. How does that happen? That doesn't... That's not... Yeah! Why? Why is that a thing? <sighs> what was this one? It was 14 and 2, right? The other one was 13 and 4. We'll go with this one because the extra sonar might be useful, I guess. I don't know. Wait 40. We'll go with this one partially because of the extra sonar. It's only a slight drop in radar, and also it'll be a different change of pace as far as aesthetics go, because holy crap, we've been using the same carrier bridge literally from the beginning of the game. Uh, but that's pretty much just because there hasn't really been anything better to... Like, the other ones just aren't that really much better, to be honest. That really much better. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's, it's definitely the weekend, you can tell. Uh, okay, we'll just put that there in the middle because it looks nice. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and design this thing up, and I'll bring you guys back as soon as I have it all done. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I was looking at these uh, atomic engines, and um, I don't know. I kind of want to try them out in place of uh, the battleship boilers. Maybe if we have, like, I don't know, well, hold on, let's look at this here. Battleship Boiler 4, which is the one we would be buying, has, let me go ahead and get my phone, because why not? It's, you know. Um, so, we had, we must have had 18 boilers on the battle carrier before, right? Something like that, 18? Let's just say we had 18 on there before. If we take 18 of these boilers times the output... We get 57,600 output. If we go down to Atomic Engine 3, which is the biggest one we can actually buy with our own money, we have 9,000 times 6 is slightly less output. But that's that would be 6,000 tons versus... Oh boy, I don't even think that's going to be close. 200 times 18... Yeah, so they're heavier and they have less total output than these guys. Uh, they probably have more fuel, I, I would think. In fact, they don't seem to have fuel at all, which would make more sense. Um, because, you know, they're nuclear engines. They don't really need to be refueled for... Certainly not in the course of one mission in this game. So, yeah, we'll be sticking with boilers, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... I don't know. We'll start with 34 for now. If we need more, we'll we'll pick up more uh, when we get to the ships that actually need them. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys back for that real quick. Um, we also did get the new turbines as well at some point. These is what these is. These are what we had before. Turbine six and turbine seven is what we have now. Slightly higher efficiency, only a little bit heavier, so that ought to be good. And uh, I will continue to design this thing and bring you guys back if I notice anything else uh, worth mentioning. So, yeah. Okay, so, um, I wanted to bring you guys back for a second so we can look at systems here, just in case there's anything new that I missed. Doesn't look like we have a new auto-reload system. ETS, I am not... I am, it'll be probably more useful now that we're at the later stage of the game. So we'll sell these old ETSs. And we'll buy... How expensive are these? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Go ahead and do that. And, um... Firing Delay System 3. We have all of that we care about here. Optical Intensifier 1 and 2. 1 we can actually buy now. 2, I don't... No, we can't. 2 is the one that we got from the mission that one time. Uh, electromagnetic Shields. We can sell these old ones. And buy the new ones. 3 of them, por favor. Oh, boy. Oof, those are really expensive. Um, enemy radar ability. I don't know how much this is really going to help us at this point in the game. And I have better systems that I'm more interested in putting on. 
Damage from projectile weapons decreased by 20%. I want that on, like, everything, pretty much. Five? Uh, yeah, sure, I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. No movement ones still. Nope. Okay, the other thing while I have you guys here is aircraft. We got some new aircraft to look at here. Uh, we got the F4, FH-1 Phantom right here. Ta-da! It's, uh... Night capable, which is good. Speed 780. Only has, um, 50 caliber machine guns. Which is, uh, slightly disappointing. 780. Uh, it looks to be the fastest one we have, at least. The Corsair. Didn't we just get the Corsair? How come we only just got the Corsair? Uh, the Corsair is a really cool plane, but this one's technically faster and has slightly larger bombs, which for an interceptor is less important, but uh, we'll go ahead and pick up a few of these guys. Uh, like so. And fighters, we got the AD-1 Sky Raider here, which is a night capable very fast fighter, it looks like, with 20 millimeter machine guns and aerial torpedoes. I like the sounds of that. Let's go ahead and get a bunch of these guys. Like so. Uh, bombers. We got the, oh, this is the Corsair that we just got. Here we go. Uh, ooh, Guided Bomb. Ooh, Night Capable, 705. It's very fast compared to everything else we have. Okay, yep, want it. Lots of those. Yes, please. Scouts, I don't think we got a new Scout. No, we're still using these PBJ-1Js. Um, but I can go ahead and buy a whole bunch more of them now that, uh, we're gonna have space to actually put a whole bunch of them on here. We don't want kingfishers, if anything. We want seahawks. Oh, I have a decent amount of seahawks. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that was it. And I might as well go ahead and keep you guys here, since this will only take a matter of seconds. Uh, so, yeah, this is what I came up with. We got the 305s here as the main armament. I thought it'd be kind of cool to at least try to put these 88mm multi-chain guns down here. Maybe, if, if nothing else, then just for extra anti-aircraft fire or for you know just having more guns firing than just two at like PT boats destroyers anything like that we, we, we might come across um, just just to have a, a little bit of extra firepower on the ship um, so we've got uh, anti sub missile VLS we've got uh, there's one here there's one here underneath here there's the third one underneath this 88 millimeter gun Back here, I decided to go ahead and put on the... Oh, let's go up here. There you go. Multi-warhead VLS. It's kind of cut off a little bit. Um, right there. Just for the sake of trying it out. We have CIWS and high angles all along the side here. The CIWS, fun fact, are actually so tall that if I try to put them over here, it doesn't work. Because the hopper on top, where the ammo feeds in, is so tall that it just doesn't work. So, they're kind of grouped together on the sideways panel like this. Um... So, yeah. Okay, so let's put on our systems. We want autoload 3, ETS 4, sonar. I don't really care. Sure. Um, radar, yeah, and firing delay, and meh and meh. We definitely want this and uh, that one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so there's the systems. I already put armor on as well. We have 20 centimeters of deck armor, which I'll probably add to, like so, and add to this, like so. I'm not used to having such a high weight limit with such good engines that we can do that kind of crazy stuff. Uh, bridges, we've got forward type 6. I think we saw that already. Searchlights are um, here and back here, as you can see. Um... Elevators, I have three of them in the middle of the flight deck here, as you can see, and yeah, there's the engines, we have boiler four, turbine seven, all the weapons again in case you missed them. Okay, time for the planes. Um, we can have eight aircraft on here, which is a little bit better. Um, now that we are finally equipped to deal with uh, submarines by ourselves, I feel like I would like to have probably like two of these guys and like I don't know uh, let's do uh, whoops let's do three of these guys and two of these guys and three interceptors 
like this. Right? Yeah, let's try that. Uh, see how that does for us. Okay, that is the new battle carrier there. <coughs> wow, that thing looks ridiculous in a kind of a cool way. Um, alrighty. So there's the new battle carrier. I'm interested to see what the bridge actually looks like here before I go clicking buttons and putting a big menu on the screen that blocks stuff. Yeah, that chain gun is pretty massive. Lots and lots of anti-aircraft guns, as usual. And as you can see, I did attempt to do at least a little bit of double stacking with the uh, armament there. The bridge looks kind of cool. And there is the stern of the ship. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to do the battleship pretty quickly. Now, let's do the aircraft carrier. We haven't looked at the aircraft carrier in a while. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to do this one quickly, and then I think we'll have to save the battleship for next time. Aircraft carrier. We finally have a modern aircraft carrier, and I'm super excited about it. Uh, and we're going to go get the other... Or another version of the newer bridge. Because having a Lexington class bridge on a modern I don't I don't know exactly which uh, carrier hole this is yet. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just refer to it as a Nimitz class hole. It might be wrong, but it's hard to tell. Actually, looking at the this front bit here, it looks a little more like it might be the Enterprise, the the new Enterprise, um, the first nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. It might be. Just looking at the front end of it, because um, I'm pretty sure I don't know if the Nimitz has this weird. Uh, I'm also not sure if this is, Nimitz has this weird like angle at the back. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna refer to it as the Nimitz class for now, for the sake of simplicity. Um, just know that that could could be wrong. Since it's a modern aircraft carrier, I actually want the bridge to be a little bit back like this, so it looks more like a, an actual aircraft carrier. Um, so yeah. All right. From this point out, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this all up here, uh, and I will pick you guys back up in a little bit. So, see you in a second. Okay, so something cool I just found out. I don't know if we've been able to do this for a while or if this is a new thing that, it, like, it depends on the hull that you have. But uh, there are side elevators, so if you select your elevator from this menu here, uh, like so, you can see up, I can place it anywhere in here, that's fine. But if I go to the adjust menu, I can actually turn it into a side elevator, which is pretty cool. So, for aesthetics purposes, aesthetics... Ah, my brain. Uh, aesthetic purposes, I kind of want to have one like back here. I don't know exactly how these are going to look, but uh, I'm curious. So, and I know this takes away from our potential to have NAR weapons on the side and everything. Um, as far as these main guns go, I'm not even sure I want to have main guns on here because the main guns at this point in the game are so. These are so tiny, they're not going to damage like anything. So, I don't even know if I'll have those on there. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to bring you guys back to point out the elevator trick. That's kind of neat. Um, so, yeah. I'll, I'll keep working on this, and I'll bring you guys back when I... Either when I finish or when I find something else kind of cool. Alright, so, this is what we have for the carrier here. Um, yeah, I decided to ditch the, uh, 25.4cm guns. At this point in the game, they're not gonna kill hardly anything. Um, can't put any really big chain guns on here, so mo our primary armament is actually, if I go to the weapons over here, you can see the first slot has AS missile launchers, which are anti-ship missile launchers. Those are actually going to be our primary armament on this uh, aircraft carrier here, which is going to be a big change of pace, but um, I do have one AGS gun. This is the uh, AGS gun that I can actually buy now, um, partially for the purpose of trying it. Um, if we don't like it, we can take it off or leave it. It doesn't really matter too much, but at least we'll be able to try it out. Um, I also have two anti-air missile launchers there and there, and then we have lots of high-angle guns and 25mm CIWS. Uh, I mentioned the side elevators and a little cut-in. 
Um, I believe we have 16 boilers and four turbines. We got uh, the new boilers as well. I did the math again with the Atomic Engine 3s and with 14 boilers, which is what I had originally, I just added these other two um, just a second ago. Um, even having six Atomic Engine 3s, we technically would have had more output than 14 of these boilers, but it almost w it would have been almost twice as heavy to have those six atomic engines, which would totally wipe out any output benefit that you got in terms as far as speed goes. You'd lose any speed benefit that you got from the extra output just because of how much heavier those uh, atomic engines are. So that's why I decided to stick with uh, boilers. And of course, purge is never an issue because if we take a look at the carrier bridge here and every carrier bridge for that matter, um, it doesn't. Well, it doesn't tell me, but carrier bridges have unlimited purge basically. So, there is that. Okay, so engines, there you go. Boiler 6, turbine 7. Here is the equipment uh, and all of the systems that I put on it. I've thought about actually grabbing the, um, grabbing the Aegis system from the cruiser and putting it on here, probably in place of this. In fact, I'll go ahead and do that after I'm done talking to you guys here. But uh, here's the armor on the ship. We, of course, want very thick deck armor because it is uh, an aircraft carrier and the deck is the most important part of an aircraft carrier. So I've not done the aircraft yet because I wanted to bring you guys along for that, but I think, I mean we could go with a perfectly even f spread because we have 20 aircraft on this thing. So I want, I want five scouts because otherwise I cannot sink submarines, which is a huge problem. Um, as far as everything else goes, I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly fine having a five uh, a five plane spread for every class. I think uh, I think that'll work pretty well. Um, maybe take out I don't know because both of these are are like attack planes. Maybe take out two of those and add some interceptors into the mix. Um, Though I'm not sure our interceptors will be able to keep up with the enemy aircraft if the enemy aircraft are starting to be UFOs and stuff now. Then again, that could have just been those couple of missions. So I don't know. We'll try this, I think, and see how it goes. Um, other than that, I'm going to go rip the uh, Aegis system off the cruiser and bring it over here to the aircraft carrier. I'll go ahead and do that off camera because I think it's about that time to end the episode off here without it getting too insanely long. So, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Naval Ops Commander. I hope you have enjoyed. Let me know if you can really discern what exactly this hull is, this aircraft carrier hull. Um, I'm thinking it's the Enterprise uh, CVN-65? Is that right? Is that the Enterprise? The new Enterprise? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking it's the uh, the new night operations um, enterprise. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. So anyways, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Naval Ops Commander. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next one.